Okay, uh, video four in a series of uh, melodic minor um, stuff. And uh, we talked about the scale, talked about the arpeggios and the triads, uh, sorry, seventh arpeggios, triad arpeggios, and triad chords and seventh chords. Um, but we haven't talked much about um, the application of these. And uh, this is the most um, kind of fundamental step that you can't miss out if you're doing a lot of practice. I mean, you could really, you know, get blistering. Uh, <laughs> sort of idea of how the scale feels and sounds just by playing um, playing the scale up and down a lot and then um, maybe playing some patterns um, and then maybe um, finding songs that have a strong sort of a melodic minor sound in the melody and then learning those which is things that I've done transcribing guys that use this sound and which is you know 99% of jazz musicians <laughs> will kind of come and stumble across this. So you can do that, but um, at some point you have to work out for yourself how these scales sound in the context of a song. Okay, so the song I'm going to use, which I don't know what it is yet. Actually, I'll do it. I'll do one that's in lots of songs. I'll just do um, like a five-one progression. So it's like five chord, G altered. G7, sharp 5, sharp 9. And then resolve to um, C melodic minor. So the, on the 5 chord, here's the application part. Right? On the 5 chord, I'm going to play mode 7 of A flat melodic minor. And that's going to be our, that's our altered scale. So, the, so this is a really important thing to practice. You can think A flat melodic minor resolving to C minor, but I just try and think, because that's like secondary thinking. You've got like got to think, okay, I'm G altered, so I've got to go for semitone playing melodic minor. It's better to just go, what what's the G altered scale? And work out how that sounds and, and looks. find a few 
I mean, this is what I found anyway, it could be different for you, but you, you might find that there's like most of the tones kind of sound pretty hip. And some of the square, some of the tones that sound the, the most square are the ones that have the most gravity, you know, like the tonic sort of sounds so dumb. <laughs> that it just sounds like so resolved you know so strongly resolved now dumb's not the right word what I, what I mean is you know you might find that some of the more out tones uh, where are we at might kind of yield some really nice melodic interesting sort of angular melodic results Oops. sounds uh, by looking at those those interesting tones so yeah uh, all right got one more in this 